Hello, one kids. I am so glad to be with you. This is Miss Molly. And we have Miss Kathy here from Lifeline um, Children's Services, and she is here. She's going to tell us a little bit about our One Kids Missions Project, our One Fellowship Missions Project. Um, Lots of you are wearing pajamas today, and I hope you came in your pajamas because today is Pajama Sunday, and I and I have Miss Kathy here to tell us a little bit more about why we are wearing pajamas and why we're collecting pajamas and stuffed animals and toiletries, and I am excited for her to tell us all about that. So hello, Miss Kathy. Thank you for being Hello, Miss Molly. So good to see you guys, and hey, one kids. Thanks for having me. We're really grateful that you gave us your time. Can you tell us about your family and about what your job is at Lifeline? Um, yeah, absolutely. So my name is Kathy, um, and I'm married to my husband, Jonathan. And we have, right now, we have five kids that live in our house. Um, three of those kids are ours for a while, and then two of those kids are ours for now. Um, so they are children in foster care that have been placed in our home. So we're, we're a foster family. Um, and I am also now on staff and I serve the team of grownups that work with me over at Lifeline Children's Services. Our job is to help the grownups get ready to be foster parents. And so really my job is just that I help other grownups become foster parents. I love that. So can you tell us what, um, what it means to be a foster family? Yeah. So being a foster family is just a helper family. A lot of you guys probably have helper families in your lives. Maybe you have a grandma that lives here in the Charleston area, or maybe you have a neighbor that you sometimes get to go over and stay with, or maybe somebody here at the church um, in your small group, or maybe a Sunday school teacher that when your parents, maybe they go out of town or they go out on a date night, you guys stay at somebody else's house. And so a lot of us have helper families, but you know what, not every kid in Charleston has a helper family. And so if something sad or really bad happens in their family, they need to go somewhere for a little while and they don't have a helper family, so they go to a foster family. Um, and a foster family's job is just to keep kids safe and help them to learn and play while a, they are away from their own family until they can go back home. All right. Well, that's awesome. And we know when, from studying God's word, that his heart is uh, big for family. Like he yeah. gives us not just our own families, but he gives us the church family that we get to be a part of um, every Sunday, whether we're at home or whether we're at, in person at church. Um, we get that community and that safe place to grow and to learn and to, um, learn about who God is and what his promises for us are and, and how he's given us mission to live in the world, which is what we're all about here at One Kids to learn about that. So in the context of family, um, how do we see, um, how, how can One Kids help um, Lifeline Ministries support foster families as they do the mission that God has given them to do? Yeah, we know that God made families on purpose. Um, it's not an accident that the grownups are coaches and are in charge of the family. God did that for a reason. Um, it's a mirror of how God is in charge of our church family, right? That he is our heavenly father and he gives us earthly parents that take care of us. So families are kind of like little churches. They're set up with grownups in charge, um, with grownups as coaches to help their kids. And then, you know, one day the kids grow up and they have their own families. Mm -hmm. So we believe God did that for a reason and a purpose. Um, and foster families are not really any different from regular families, although we do have a lot of extra kids sometimes coming with us. And so uh, I love that you guys are doing here at One Kids a drive for right? Pajamas and toiletries and teddy bears. That's a great way that one kids can help foster families. Um, you know, when kids leave their families and they come into foster care, it, it is always because something really bad or sad happened in their family. And so when they leave, it's not like when you and I leave on vacation, right? When you and I leave on vacation, we know when it's going to happen and we put our stuff in a suitcase and we get ready ahead of time before we leave our house. But when kids leave to go into foster care, it's usually pretty fast and they don't have a chance to bring their things with them. Or maybe they don't have very many things. 
So when they arrive at a foster home, it's so nice for our foster families to have new pajamas and new toiletries and new teddy bears. Um, I don't know about you, Miss Molly, but I like cuddling. I like getting cozy at the end of the day as part of our bedtime routine. I have my special blanket that's just for me that I like to use to keep me warm and cozy, especially in the winter. And so that's the same for kids, right? Kids in foster care. That these teddy bears that they get when they come to a brand new house and they're just meeting their foster family for the first time, you know, new pajamas that fit them just right, new teddy bears for them to cuddle during their bedtime routine can really make a scary day just a little bit better. And everybody loves new pajamas. It doesn't matter when, right? And that does. Yeah, I hope you guys are having fun wearing your pajamas this morning. Yes, what a treat. So that doesn't happen very often, right? You usually have to wear all the different church clothes, but now you get to wear pajamas and it's a very special thing. <laughs> um, so I, I'm so grateful that you told me all about how One Kids can participate in um, this pajama drive that's just not just pajama Sunday, but we are going to be collecting pajamas and toiletries and new stuffed animals. And um, there's a place on the church porch that you can put it, um, put all these beautiful things. You can help your parents um, pick them out and um, think about what you would like as a kid um, and give that to someone, another kid and, and mm -hmm. ask for God to bless um, that gift and make that um, set of pajamas and that um, stuffed animal um, really bring comfort and joy to um, hearts that might be hurting or sad um, and just bring lots of joy, which is what Jesus came to bring us, which is lots of joy. Miss Kathy, I have one more question for you. Okay. And that is, what is your, since we're in a season of Christmas traditions and just lots of family traditions where we do something every year that's really exciting and really helps us know who we are as a family, what is one special tradition that your family has that's the Leak family? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, we like to bang our heads with paper towel rolls. <laughs> okay. So we have this very funny family tradition of making music with different sized paper towel, cardboard, you know, cardboard rolls on the inside of the paper towels. Mm -hmm. So if you do those in different sizes and you hit them on your head gently, it actually makes a sound very similar to what a piano sounds like when you hit the keys. Huh. Um, and so our family can play songs like Jingle Bells or Mary Had a Little Lamb, or um, I think we can do Go Tell It on the Mountain now too. So we've been working on a new one. That's exciting. Um, so that is a very funny, but fun family talent yep. and tradition. We don't always usually do it during Christmas, but Right. Families have traditions that they use at different times of the year, too. That's yeah. Great. Yep. And when I saw the video of your family doing this special talent that I've never seen another family do it, and it is a very unique special talent. So, um, boys and girls, I hope you have some really fun um, talents and traditions um, in this season. And I think one kid, one of our one kid's tradition is to be able to live on mission um, and see where God is working in Charleston and even in our whole entire world and see where we can partner with what God is doing. So I hope that you enjoy this opportunity and that you've learned a lot and that it inspires you to be able to serve God on mission. We want to thank you, Miss Kathy, for being a part of this video. Yeah, thanks guys. Appreciate it. All right, we'll talk to you later. Headbangers performed by the Leaks. We're playing Jesus Loves Me. One, two, two three, three, play. <laughs> 